In this lecture, I will talk about working with Telnet as a source. So here is the topology that we will work with in the Telnet lectures, where we have three routers, router 1, router 2, and router 3. And this network is the network 192.168.1.0 and this network is the network 192.168.2.0 and this address is the IP address of 1.1 this IP address is 1.2 and this IP address is 2.1 and this address is 2.2 so if I go now to router 1 and try to Telnet to the IP address of router 2 which is 1.2 we see this message password required but none set and this is because as we know that to be able to Telnet successfully to another router the enable password or the VTY password should be configured on the other router, on the destination router. So if I issue the command show run section VTY, we see that there is no password configured on the line VTY and we see that the login command is configured by default on the line VTY which is the reason for the password to be required when uh, trying to telnet to this router. So to solve this issue I can go to the line VTY 0 and then 1869 and then set the password for the line VTY to be Cisco with all small letters. Now if, if I go back to router 1 and try to telnet to router 2 we see that the telnet is successful and if I want now to return back to router 1 without disconnecting the session so I can hit the control shift 6 and then X we see that we have returned back to router 1 without disconnecting the telnet session. Let us try now to telnet to router 3 which has the address of 2.2. We see the same message which is password required but none set. So on router 3 I can solve the issue with the same method which is setting the VTY line password or I can just simply use the no login command so that no password will be required when telnetting to router 3. So let us now try on router 1 to telnet to router 3. We see that we have accessed router 3 without being asked for a password. Let us return now to, uh, to the console of router 1 using the combination of control shift 6 and then X. So here we have uh, seen that we have two ways to telnet successfully to another router. The first one which is the recommended way is by setting the line VTY password and the second way is just by using the no login command which is not recommended because it causes a, uh, security issues because as we know that telnet uh, can cause uh, someone to access a router from anywhere in, in, in the world so there must be a password to prot uh, protect the line VTY. Now if we want to display the open sessions that we have on this source router, router 1, we can use the command so show sessions. We see that we have two open sessions with the addresses 1.2 and 2.2 .2.
so we have a telnet session with router 2 and with router 3 and here we see this symbol which is the asterisk which means the last router that we have telneted to so to return back to this open session the last one we can just hit enter twice so we see that we have accessed router 3 which is the 2.2 .2 IP address which is the last one that has an asterisk uh, symbol beside its IP if I return back now to the console of router 1 and then use the command show sessions again we see that we have the two sessions if, if I want now to tell it to router 2 which has the connection number of 1 I can just enter the number of the connection which is 1 we see now that we have access the 1.2 which is router 2 I'll return back to router 1 and then use the show sessions command we see that the last one uh, or the last session that we have used is the session number one so the asterisk changed to be with this connection not with this connection if, uh, if I want now to access router 3 using the connection number 2 we see that we are, we are uh, resuming connection to router 3 and if we return to router 1 and use the command show sessions we see that the asterisk changed back to be with router 3 so now we have two opened sessions with router 2 and router 3 what if you want to disconnect these sessions we have two ways to disconnect sessions the first one is while we are on the source router itself which is by using the disconnect command and then the number of the connection which is here one we see now if you use the show sessions command that we have only one open session which is with router 3 the second way is by going to the router destination router and then while we are on the destination router we can use the exit command now if you use the sessions command we see that we have no connections open what if we now want to prevent router 1 from telnetting to any other router how can we do that we can just go to the line console because we are using telnet or accessing the other routers through telnet while we are on the line console so in the line console I can use the command no transport output and then if I want to enable uh, using SSH instead of telnet so the only protocol that we, we, we can use for remote access to another devices will be here SSH and we have disabled all other protocols including uh, telnet we can use the command transport output SSH if I now tried to telnet to router 2 we see that telnet connections not permitted from this terminal and also if I try to telnet to router 3 we should see the same message 